There were new attitudes to the word of God according to the revelation that God gave the apostles because the church was built on the foundation of the prophets and the apostles and Christ himself. And so it's important that that any revelation we have, maybe God will give you a word of knowledge. Maybe God will give you a vision or a sign. That's fine. So long as it marries up with scripture. So long as if you talk to your brothers and sisters, they can say, in all honesty, hand on heart, and if they really are godly people, they're really born again, they will want to bless you, encourage you, and to exhort you to, to do what God calls you to do. And if God is calling you to do something, or if you have some sort of revelation about something, then they will obviously be able to see it as well. They may not understand necessarily always when things happen to us and we think, oh, God must have you know, made that happen and, and it, it really impacts us and we get really excited about it. Not everyone gets excited about things that go on with us sometimes when we think God is talking to us or working with us in some way or leading us somewhere. But if it's really of God that's actually something's happening and you're being called to something, some new ministry or to, to go somewhere or do something, other Christians will be able to see whether that really is of God or not. And you also should have the Holy Spirit to, to either convict you that it's not or to make you feel really at peace that it is. And so if you don't feel right about something inside and yet it all looks good and you have the door seems to be open and you're going for something and yet you don't, you just don't, it doesn't sit right with you. Something doesn't feel right about it. Something doesn't seem to, um, to give you peace about it. Then that's surely the Holy Spirit speaking to you gently and saying, stop, slow down. This is not what I have for you. I want something else for you. And so this is something important. This is what we need to be. We need to have wisdom. We need to have revelation and know where that revelation comes from. And it, he says, as you come to know him. So it's only when we come to know the Father, and we all need to get to know the Father. It's all very well knowing of the Father and worshipping the Father like we did today, and worshipping Jesus, who is our manifestation of the Father, who is also God. It's all very well knowing that, but we need to get to know him. We need to have a revelation and a meeting with God. We need to be in relationship with God. There needs to be something more. We need to get to know him. You can't get to know someone unless you're starting to build relationship with that person. And then he says, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he's called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? So there's so much that can come from that. But it's with the eyes of your heart enlightened. The Holy Spirit reveals the Lord Jesus Christ to us. The Holy Spirit is the one who brings us power and authority that we need to step into. Okay? That's the important thing. And we need to be reminded of the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, we need to be reminded of how much we have at our disposal through God. That the world that we see in the sense realm, we just see what the world has to offer us. But if we could only open our eyes in the spiritual realm and see the riches that God has for us in Christ Jesus, the riches that he has for us in terms of everything in this world belongs to God. That if God wants us to have something that we need for ministry, it is as good as done. If we, if we have faith and trust in God and we come to God for whatever we need, we know that God will provide it. It's just a done deal. But to open our eyes spiritually and recognise that, that, that's really quite an important thing. And so it's a case of 
stepping into it and claiming it in the fact that we are God's children. And if we need something, then we should go to our Father and ask him and expect it to happen. Not to look at it from a worldly point of view or from our sense realm point of view and say, well, my bank account's empty. Um, I don't have a place to worship in. Um, I have a problem with a car. I have a problem where I'm living. I have a problem with work. I have, a problem. I have problems all the time. Yes, you do, probably. And many people do. And some people are very fortunate and they don't. It's not for us to decide who's what, what's happening there, but we do know that if we open the eyes of our spiritual understanding and, and walk in the spirit, we can really know God's blessing and can really know that we will have what we need, whatever that is, for ministry. And that's really important. Okay, so we're going to pass on to the gospel, otherwise I should be here all day.